Hello, my name is Steve Olson. I'm the manager of training services for Mesa. Mesa's Inventor Tube and Pipe Design class will take users through the standard workflows for creating routed systems or routed tube and pipe designs in Inventor. There are three general topics that are covered quite extensively in this class, one of which is the styles for tube and pipe design. And, and just to take a quick look at that, so I'm in a, tube, uh, a model that has a tube and pipe run sub-assembly, and there are a great deal of styles built into the software already. Uh, these can be customized and users can create their own. So the class covers all of that information. It covers you know, what does the style uh, do, you know, how to store these, how to customize these, how do these work with the content center, all of this information is covered in that class. Along with that is the um, the workflows for creating piping runs. So if you just bear with me here a second, I'll quickly create one. I'll dig into a run. I'll create a new route. And then I can use, use my routing tools, which are essentially um, sketching tools, for the lack of a better term. So I can grab a uh, an opening there, tell it I want to come out so far from that. Then I can come over in this direction. So that the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I come down and hit a work plane over here so I can turn on my work features. So I can turn on my work features there. I'll begin create or re restart my route come down so far. There's some different snapping tools that I can use to help me align. These are all kind of talked about. There's a point snap. There's a uh, select other snap that we can use. And all these are, are covered in, in this class. And then kind of finishing off my route. Uh, one of the things that was that's discussed in that class also is this auto route and how to manage that and a good workflow of converting that to sketching geometry. Once I have my route, I can then populate it with the pieces that I've asked it to, to, to populate it with based off my style. Another topic that's uh, covered quite heavily is the content center. Tube and pipe design works very closely with the content center. And part of that class is authoring and publishing custom components. So in this case here, I actually have a custom read-write content center library that I published this valve to. Uh, I also have a piece of hose that I've added. I have a piece of pipe that I've added. So the class talks about authoring, which is a process that you use to prep pieces for the content center, especially when they're going to be used in a tube and pipe workflow, and then publishing them to the content center. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments about the class or if you would like to sign up, please feel free to reach out to us at our toll-free number on the screen or you can uh, contact me directly at my email address on the screen. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in class real soon.